everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna dial it back today, get back to the basics with a good old fashioned toy review. Well, secret, it's not really toy, it's a piggy bank. Now, you may have seen this piggy bank buried within one of my haul videos within the last couple of months, but today I just wanted to make a video solely dedicated to this incredibly rare and hard to find piece. If you are a Jurassic Park toy collector and you all of a sudden turned into Gollum, this would be your precious. <laughs> There's absolutely no media about this guy out there at all. No info, no pictures, no videos, no nothing. So for such a unique piece with a unique story behind it, I thought it was about time that this guy had his own video here on YouTube. So this is the 1992 Jurassic Park piggy bank featuring Lex Murphy riding a Triceratops named Ralph. And on the bottom here, we have a little bit of information in two places, Triceratops made in China and Jurassic Park 1992 Universal City Studios and Amblin Entertainment. In the original Jurassic Park, Crichton writes about Lex Murphy, one of John Hammond's grandchildren, who has an encounter with a baby Triceratops she names Ralph, while she, her brother Tim, and Dr. Grant are separated from the tour group. So let me read a little bit from the actual excerpt from the book. Chew your food, Lex was saying. Don't be a piggy, Ralph. Grant walked around the corner and found Lex by the bars, holding out handfuls of hay to an animal outside that looked like a large pink pig and was making the squeaking sounds Grant had heard. It was actually an infant Triceratops, about the size of a pony. The infant didn't have horns on its head yet, just curved bony frill behind big soft eyes. It poked its snout through the bars toward Lex, its eyes watching her as she fed it more hay. That's better, Lex said. There's plenty of hay, don't worry. She patted the baby on the head. You like hay, don't you, Ralph? This is Ralph, Lex said. He's my friend. He likes hay. Grant took a step and stopped. You look pretty bad, Lex said. I feel pretty bad. Tim too, his nose is all swollen up. Where is Tim? Peen, she said. You wanna help me feed Ralph? The baby Triceratops looked at Grant. Hay stuck out of both sides of his mouth, dropping on the floor as it chewed. He's a very messy eater, Lex said, and he's very hungry. The baby finished chewing and licked his lips. It opened its mouth waiting for more. Grant could see the slender sharp teeth and the beaky upper jaw like a parrot. Okay, just a minute, Lex said, scooping up more straw from the concrete floor. Honestly, Ralph, she said, you'd think your mother never fed you. Why is his name Ralph? Because he looks like Ralph at school. Grant came closer and touched the skin of the neck gently. It's okay. You can pet him, Lex said. He likes it when you pet him. Don't you, Ralph? The skin felt dry and warm with the pebbled texture of a football. Ralph gave a little squeak as Grant petted it. Petted it. That sounds like bad English. Petted it. He's pretty tame. Ralph looked from Lex to Grant as it ate and showed no sign of fear. It reminded Grant that the dinosaurs didn't have ordinary responses to people. Maybe I can ride him, Lex said. Let's not. I bet he'd let me, Lex said. It'd be fun to ride a dinosaur. And then all of a sudden they hear a giant dinosaur noise, like some snorting, and it's Ralph's big mama, a big triceratops comes, and then Ralph goes away with the mom. And then a few pages forward, just randomly Lex thinks of Ralph, and she's like, I wonder how Ralph is, Lex said. He's probably dead or something. And then uh, Grant's like, I'm sure he's fine. I wonder if he'd let me ride him, she sighed. Sleepy in the sun. That'd be fun to ride Ralph. So that was an actual excerpt from the book with Lex and Ralph having that first interaction there. And actually in 1991, Michael Crichton actually penned his first script, his first kind of rough draft of his screenplay script. And there's a little kind of encounter there with Lex and Ralph as well. So I'll read you that. It's very, very tiny. So the scene is on the ground. Lex feeds a baby Triceratops grass and then jumps up on it, giggling, and the baby tosses its head happily and starts to trot, running away with her. Then Grant says, oh boy. As Grant starts down, the hadrosaurs trumpet an alarm and the animals pull back. Grant goes down fast. Tim comes down after him. The herd honks, annoyed. The baby Triceratops swings around and Grant arrives just as it passes him. Grant jogs after Lex. Lex! Lex says gaily, 
Hi, Dr. Grant. And Grant jogging. Listen, Lex, stop. Grant pulls her off the baby. Lex yelps in protest. The baby continues, crests the hill, and is reunited with a very large mother. So for the movie itself, a baby animatronic Triceratops was actually in the works, but just before its completion, the baby Triceratops scene was cut. This was due to script changes, and of course, in order to get the runtime down, redundant scenes that didn't really add anything to the plot needed to be cut. However, in 1997's Lost World Jurassic Park, we were treated to Ralph the Triceratops in one of the cages in the hunter's camp. The scene obviously called for a bunch of caged dinosaurs, so you know what, they had Ralph kicking around there who was almost completed, so why not use him in the scene? And you'll know it's Ralph when he makes that really, really weird dinosaur sound. It's literally two seconds, but that's our boy Ralph right there. So now that you know the history of this scene, this piggy bank will make so much more sense. 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 Money. Sense. Oh, unplanned, unscripted comedic jokes. And stamped with 1992 on the bottom, obviously the production of this piggy bank had started before the Ralph scene was cut from the script, as the movie was filmed between August and November of 1992, both in California and Hawaii. One second, my nose is running like a river. Oh, whenever I start a video, my nose always starts running. So Lex is pretty recognizable with her purple shirt, blonde hair, and jeans. And she's got this uh, geisha queen amidala thing going with her lips. I don't know if it's just like a cheap way of putting some color here to make it look like her mouth's going or something, but I don't know, it's kind of weird. And her eye sockets are like a little... A little Pan's Labyrinth baby eater looking to me. And it's kind of funny because she's got her hand like right here. So it looks like she's about to like put her eyes on her, on her face. <laughs> and then there's Ralph. Kind of sounds like a sitcom. It's like, and then there's Ralph. And then Ralph's like this grumpy triceratops. I gotta sneeze, I gotta sneeze. Come on, sneeze. Come on, sneeze. Don't go, no. I've never let go sneeze. Ralph is obviously so much more detailed and impressive than his human friend. He has one leg raised and seems to be standing in a kind of a dense grass or foliage patch. Got a lot of little yellow here and there. So maybe it could be like some hay in homage to the novel of when he was eating hay. We have this interesting texturing pattern all around his body. Some nice fold work around his thighs and legs, toe detail, as well as painted toes and a coin slot positioned along his back in line with the spinal lumpy lumps on his back. And then we come to my favorite part, the facial sculpt. I love the detailing here on the sides of his cheeks and that toothless beak at the very front. Ralph has very kind eyes, nice and detailed with a nice little paint job in there. Unlike... <laughs> We have the nasal horn on the front, followed by the two larger horns above each eye and the frill with this bony frill edge. At the side here, we have the official JP stamp. And to the side of that stamp is a teeny tiny Triceratops skull. And the entire logo is brushed with a very faint hint of gold to kind of help it pop. There's noticeable scuff marks on the stopper at the bottom. We have some paint rub here and there in places, but you know, for something that's nearly 30 years old, I think this guy is in overall really good condition. So I actually nabbed this guy on a U site for $20 Canadian plus shipping a while ago. And I actually only know two other people, two other collectors that have this rare piggy bank. So because of its uniqueness and rarity, you can probably find this guy on eBay for anywhere between $100 to $200 US. But, 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 but in terms of the Jurassic Park collector community, I definitely value this guy much more, probably almost in the $300 to $400 range, just because of how hard it is to find, how unique it is, and how it's depicting a cut scene. Another scene that was in the book and in Crichton's first draft of the screenplay, it was the river raft scene where Dr. Grant, Lex, and Tim are afloat on a raging river and have an encounter with a T-Rex, featured in a handful of early Jurassic Park video games. But but ultimately it was cut for similar reasons to Ralph being cut. Plus it would have been very expensive to shoot. 
Of course, the Universal Studios Jurassic Park ride was kind of modeled after this premise, essentially. And later in Jurassic Park 3, we had a bit of a river rafting adventure with the Spinosaurus, possibly paying homage to the original rafting scene that was cut. It's scrapped scenes like this, you know, Lex riding Ralph, the river rafting adventure. It's things like that and merchandise that was made very early and obviously kind of made in limited runs, as when the movie came out, they obviously stopped, you know, making those because it wasn't really featured in the movie. So that's why I find pieces like this really rare and really hard to come by and I value them that much more. So in the comments down below, I'd love to know if you guys have ever come across Ralph and Lex here, this piggy bank. You know, did you see it when you were younger? Did you see it in stores? Did you see it in gift shops? Did you see it at Universal Studios? Did you see it on eBay? Or do you know a collector that does have this? So if any of you out there have any information about Ralph whatsoever, I thought it'd be great to have this YouTube video be, you know, kind of like an archive of all information of everything that is Ralph the Baby Triceratops. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come up with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you guys so much for watching and stay legendary.